At an age when most of his peers are wrapped up in video games or glued to their phones, the 13-year-old aspiring engineer is creating prosthetic hands in hopes of helping children who are in need of upper limb assistance. Journey Tech is kind of like my dream college, so I used to, well I still do a little bit, research a lot of like videos and stuff about it, and they had one video about their makerspace, so I was watching it and they talked a lot about this technology called 3D printing three years back, and they didn't show the 3D printer, but they showed many models that it could make, and I was just like, wow, I really want this in my life, so I asked my parents, and they got one for me a few months later. I intended to make like a bunch of action figures and toys with it. I was not intending to make prosthetic hands at all, but um, I really wanted to help my community since I want to be a mechanical engineer. When he was about three, we noticed that he was very mechanically inclined and he was always tinkering and taking things apart, wanted to see how it worked. And uh, we, we looked at each other and we were like, yep, another one. However, we had no idea that this would evolve into what it is today. So as his homeschool mom, his edu home educator, it's, I just try to keep up with him. <laughs> I mean, really, I, I made it my mission to create an environment, an uh, educational environment, where he can be himself, as well as my daughter. And they can learn um, in a way that it's, it's tailored to them. My 4-H agents, they really gave me like a platform for me to expand on my project and they, I just been able to like teach classes to my peers and stuff like that about the prosthetic hand, teach them like about designing so they can make attachments to make the hands work better and stuff like that. And then I've been doing speeches at forage competitions about my prosthetic hands. So like, that's really what they do for me. And then they're always helping me. Like they help me do my pancake breakfast with help me, that helped me raise funds to get like all the elastic string and screws and stuff. That was cool. They have been amazing. They're like, whatever you need, you know, we'll back you. And a lot of these grants and things like that, like the one he got for Disney, you have to be going, you have to go through an uh, organization. And 4-H has been that organization for us. So they've taught my kids how to hone in on their public speaking skills, how to be leaders um, in their community, and how to take their interest and turn it into something tangible and functional. So they've been like an extension of our homeschool. The hand works through like the tension strings with the elastic string so when you like pull the fingers down they'll come back up and it, once, once you have like a nub on your hand it fits in here just like that so when you move your wrist muscle it will bend like that. A lot of people including me take like our hands and our body parts and things that we do every day for granted and I know some kids in this world don't have don't have the skills that I could don't have are not able to do things that I could do and a way that I can make stuff for them so they can do those things it just really that's what drives me forward knowing that I could give a child a hand and they could you know use it for physical things.